guys, Dutch D Dot Zero and One, and I'm coming back at you with my baby pass. And I am versing a very weird team, I must say. Uh, so I'm gonna start out with my usual setup and uh, go with my usual backup. And hey, there's a lot of dragons on this team. Should I go? Uh, do do do. I don't actually know who to perk. Ah, but here, let's go nose pass. I know you haven't seen Queen Spike yet, but heck, we'll give uh nose pass a shot since he's the new guy or compass as I like to call him. Yeah, we're versing the biggest, craziest dragon abuser ever. So, I just decided to go for Protect with Clan Pearl, because that's what Clan Pearl does, and I get to see a Garchomp coming for it. Quick Claw Hacks, and it goes for Crunch, but the Cobra Berry weakens its power, because I figured I'd give it something that'd help it. And Drowsy survives it like a beast, and now the Charizard sets up a Sunny Day. Great. And Drowsy, or Ganesha, does its trick room thing, and here we go. Oh, the sun's still going. So, Clan Pearl just goes for the Ice Beam, and pretty much wipes the Garchomp off the face of the Earth, and around the space world, and etc, etc. So now the Garchomp is dead. And Drowsy, or Ganesha, goes for the Hypnosis, and now the Charizard is asleep. And the sun's still bright. And out comes Zapdos. Now Clamperl just goes for the ice beam on the Zapdos. And wipes it off the face of the earth, space, and above. So Zapdos had to have visited its friend Garchomp. And Drowsy goes for the attract. Now I know I never used attract, but now he's in love. And... Oh crap, he just woke up. Uh, what's he gonna do? Solar Beam on Clamperl. And Clamperl with zero special defense. Can't really take that really well, so Clamperl is down. Stupid son. And here we go again. So out comes Kingdra, oh lord. And out comes my Nose Pass. So I figure I'd just go with Rock Slide with compass and it does decent amount of damage for having no attack and drowsy misses hypnosis but I'm confident that well this ice beam doesn't do that much to nose pass that's quite really good so Charizard's in love so he can't do pretty much anything and Kingdra has leftovers and so compass goes for yet again another rock slide it almost wipes out the Charizard, and Drowsy pulls off the Hypnosis. Yay, so now the annoying Kingdra is now asleep. And Charizard's in love with Drowsy, and it goes for the Solar Beam, which will evidently kill Compass the Nose Pass. So, Compass did his job. It weakened one opponent to death levels, and got the other one down, pretty much. Sun's still shining, Kingdra of course gets more leftovers, and it's done. And out comes Kermit! So, saving myself from getting attacked by crazy from Charizard, Kermit goes for the fake out and wipes the Charizard out with what little help it had left. So now the Charizard is dead. To take Life Orb Recoil, Kingdra's still asleep, and here we go again. The Master of Trick Rooms is back in his element. And the Sun again. Oh crap, dry skin with Kermit, I gotta hurry this up. And of course, Kingdra has leftovers. So, Ganesha just goes for the attract again, because that's what Ganesha does. He mobilizes the opponent. And Kermit goes for the Brick Break, his specialty... And it does 
a lot more than I thought it would. And Kingdra wakes up, but it's in love with Drowsy. But it is immobilized. So he just goes for focus punch and Kermit goes for the brick break. Again. Almost knocks out the Kingdra, which is good. And Kingdra is still in love with Drowsy. And you gotta love the love. So Drowsy goes for the focus punch and almost wipes out the Kingdra. And Sunlight's finally gone now. So just go for the focus punch as Kermit comes in and wipes out the Kingdra with Brick Break. So there you go guys. The baby team has made itself known far and wide again. And Krogunk, Kermit and Ganesha did the job well. So I don't know what to do with this pass, it's just so good. So yeah, just like last time, comment, rate, subscribe, see you guys next time.